Here it goes. We're tearing it all out. Oh my gosh. It's sad to say goodbye, but if you're not producing, you're not welcome. No. That so sucks. This cantaloupe used to be so nice. And now we just have to tear it out. Over here, Blue Hubbard squash. They are the favorite of a squash bug. We got them. That affected all of our squash, and they have been producing. You're not welcome. We got one melon out of this huge plant. And now we've begun tearing out the third bed, except for our okra, red Alabama oak. The new growth looks awesome. Oh, well, there's a pot. So now we have a wheelbarrow full of Jenny Lynn melon, cantaloupe, another cantaloupe, and a cherry tomato plant. Uh, so, as you can see, it's not how it should look. It should be lush, full of green, sad, sad beds. So now, start over. We are tilling up the dirt, about to weave the grass out. We're gonna plant these flowers, some sunflower seeds, and let them go to town. We are also gonna keep this Clemson spineless okra and see what it does. So yesterday was a hard day, but we're back in the garden this evening, and we are going to show you the aftermath of tearing out all of our garden. Our summer garden just didn't work out. Now let's take a look at the remedy. It's now replaced with flowers and strawberries. We are just hoping to attract a ton of good bugs. We kept the strawberries, we kept some of the peppers to try to save them. We will be adding worms to this and hopefully regenerating the soil, adding some nutrients, getting rid of some pests, and attracting some new bugs. So that way when our fall garden comes, we are not doing this again. So now it is time to mow this grass. I was mowing beautiful okra flowers. I love them. Now that we've gotten the yard all cleaned up, mowed, weed whacked, and pulled out the remaining plants that were affected by bugs, let's take a tour of the garden. As you walk out in my garden, you see potted plants. That's an eggplant. Some little eggplants right there. Something decided to eat my jalapeno. Shishito peppers. And some flowers. More potted plants with flowers. A New Mexican green chili. A tomato that is struggling, like all my tomatoes. And then you have this third bed. Then we created this little piece of art, a pallet wall for storage, our big pine tree. And one of my favorite parts is the tool wall. And we have honeysuckles. And then we have our herb bed, which is at the back wall. Our second bed, which is just flowers. And our first bed, we've now torn everything out of, except for a serrano pepper. Those are the raised beds. We have three, the front bed, the second bed, and then the herb bed. Right now it's growing oregano and thyme, some basil's popping up. And then on our side yard, a little succulent patch, a Meyer lemon tree, a fig tree. Here's everything we tore out of the garden. Oh my goodness. And then back here, we have a compost bin. Thank goodness for this pine tree, it gives great shade. The other side of the yard, the sunny side that we're trying to change, and that's the garden. I guess what better video to show you first than how to start over, because you're gonna start over every season. Fall's coming soon. We figured better just to get started on our fall garden and get the soil ready so we can have an awesome garden for fall. Hi, Cody. confirmed that I have what's called hereditary hemochromatosis. My body uh, absorbs too much iron. 